Hey everybody, what is going on with Novavax? We gotta get into that today. So in today's video, I'm gonna update you on my $17,000 account that I'm using for the wheel strategy that I've named the wheel account, real original. We're gonna dive into that account. I'm gonna show you how the current trade is going. It is on ticker NVAX, which is Novavax, and we put this trade on about eight days ago. We have two left till expiration. Novavax is up huge today. I still have the trade on. I'm considering holding into expiration even though I'm up huge. I want your thoughts on this. Drop me a comment below. Tell me whether or not you think I should close this position today or should I wait it out until expiration? With that, let's dive into the charts. All right, let's dive into this. I have Invax up on my charting platform right now, which is Tastyworks. If you want a Tastyworks account, there is a link below. Go ahead and hit that link and sign up for an account there. Novavax is absolutely moonshotting today, and I wanted to dive into this. So they had a phase three clinical trial that they're going to announce the results of sooner than anticipated, so that's gotten everyone really excited, and it's absolutely going insane. The strange thing about, and I guess at this point in time, it's not really strange anymore, but the news came out earlier this morning and had no effect on the stock until much later in the morning. So kind of bizarre how that played out. But right now, we're up $28.21 on Novavax, and I'm gonna dive in and show you my account. Now, this is the $17,000 account that I started about eight days ago. There is um, a video here you can check out, and that'll show you my wheel position that I started, which is this wheel position. I wanna talk about how it's doing right now, show it to you live, because I told you the whole point of the wheel series was to give you insight into an actual trade that's playing out in real time. So anytime I make a move, anytime I roll something or close something or put on a trade in this account, I'm going to record it live so that you all can see it so you can understand how these trades move and how you could possibly make money putting on similar type trades. So with Novavax, I'm going to open up the side panel and you're going to see that we originally on May 25th, we collected $5.10. So that was the credit we took in to sell this naked put at the $135 strike. So what that did was it made my break even this white line, which is 129.90. It's basically the strike minus the credit I received. So with that credit, I've been in this trade only eight days. We have two days remaining. You can see that right here. Now, the interesting thing is the extrinsic value that's left, which just means how much money is left in this contract, it's only $26. So a lot of people would be screaming at me right now saying, close it, close it, buy it for $26, keep the $484 and call it a day. And I'm thinking about doing that, but the goal of this wheel is to let things get to expiration because I'm okay being assigned the shares. I'm actually sort of would like that so that I could then sell the very juicy calls after I have the shares. So my tendency is to let these things run all the way out to expiration because I want to try and collect every single dollar I can get. Now, if I highlight this position real quick and say close, you can see what it's going to look like. If I go to the mid price down here, I can close this position right now for about, oh, 26 cents, which times 100 shares would be $26. But I'm waiting to see what I want to do. It just keeps going higher. And the thing that keeps me in this trade is that if I look at the options chain two days out, which is where my position is, because you can see this white dot, I'm going to open that up. If I go to my strike, which is 135, you can see that right here, my trade that I currently have on is a three delta, which means for every dollar that Novavax moves, my options contract value is gonna fluctuate by three pennies. It's not moving very much right now. It's very quiet. Now, here's the other interesting thing. Delta can also be interpreted as the percent chance that you're going to be assigned shares on this put. My percent chance right now based on Delta is 3%. So there's a 3% chance that I'm gonna be assigned these shares in the next two days. I kinda of like those odds, and it does sound a little crazy, I realize it, you know, $26 is what I'm holding out for, 
But the thing is, say I put this trade on 20 times in a year, 20 times 26, you know, that's a decent amount of money that I'm leaving on the table. Now, yes, I could wake up tomorrow and Novavax could gap down and it could be a complete disaster. That could happen. But I'm willing to take that risk because it's just 3%. It's not like I'm even, I'm not even close to the expected move. The two day expected move, which is this brown bar on Tastyworks, says the expected move by Friday night is 160. We're trading at 172.50 right now. So it could drop $12.50. I'm $25 below that, which is wildly out of the money right now. So I'm sitting tight, gonna see what happens on this, but I want your input. I want you to jump down in the comment section right now. Tell me if you think I should close this before Friday or if I should keep it open and hold on to expiration. So either comment Friday or expiration. I want your input on this because you're kind of part of this journey. Now, some people have asked me, what do I do if I close it out? And my answer is, and we were just talking about this in the private Slack group this morning, I would wait for Novavax to have a down move. After a big up move like this, I don't wanna sell a put and collect premium because the chances are the IV rank has gone down and the price is higher. So what I wanna do is wait for it to sag a tiny bit, let that down move increase implied volatility, then I'll sell that put and I'll have a strike that's even lower. So that would be my anticipated plan as of right now with Novavax, and then we'll just start the wheel over. We just rinse and repeat. We sell the put. If we expire worthless, we sell the put again. If we get put the shares, then we immediately put on the covered call. But the whole time we wanna stay very, very active. So I want Novavax to have a pullback very soon. That way I can wrap up this position and then immediately put on another one because we wanna keep this thing very, very active to grow the $17,000 account by as much as possible. So far with this first trade, we've grown this account by 3%. So we're going to see what percentage we can put into this account week after week, month after month, throughout the entire year, possibly year after year if Novavax stays in play. It always has pretty good IV rank and implied volatility, and it trades really, really well, in my opinion. So drop me a comment below. I hope you enjoyed seeing the inside of this account and getting a better understanding of how a naked put works on the go live in real time. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, stick around for a while. And if you've got any value out of this video, hit that thumbs up button. It really helps the algorithm as we all know. And I'll see you in the next video.